Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. Really, really nice morning this morning. We're welcome to a beautiful sunrise as you guys just saw. This was camp last night. We got uh, a tent here. Um, and yeah, I am probably just gonna make my way back over to the same spot where I had dinner last night. There is power outlets. I didn't get to charge my stuff last night, so I'll probably just laze around here for a few hours. I want to try and get to Rosedale if I can today. It's not that far, it's only like 50 k's. Yesterday I only did like 50 k's. A little less riding than normal, but that's all right. There's no rush to get anywhere. But um, yeah, Rosedale it's looking like. There's a place there I could camp. I believe it's like out the back of a hotel or a pub or whatever, and it's like five bucks. They have a shower, laundry, food there, and everything, except drinking water, which is the only thing they don't have. But yeah, for five bucks, you can't go wrong. So, looks like I'll uh, make it there tonight. Hey, yeah, good day. Yeah, good. So the maintenance guy, the owner, I don't know who he was, what he did, maybe like just maintain like that soccer oval. He rocked up and he's like, are you right mate? And I, I'm like, yeah, just getting ready to head out. And he's like, did you camp here last night? And I was like, oh shit, yeah, just up the out the back. And he said nothing else and he had like this worried look on his face, like committed a crime or something. He didn't say anything else after that, he just said, see you later mate. But yeah, I don't think he was happy that I camped there. I shouldn't have told him, but I didn't want to lie. It is what it is, and um, I'm moving on now. So I'm back on the road, and I'm not really stocked up that much on food. I have like 180 k's until like the next major town, so I didn't really plan that too well. But I think we should be fine. I think there's a few general stores and stuff, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Just stopping off the road here, guys, because I think the road provides again. I wonder if this is going to fit over my helmet. If it does, it's going to be a lifesaver. It's bloody hot today. We've ridden about 28 k's or so so far. It's afternoon right now, so it's bloody hot as it's gonna be all day. And I'm really feeling it. Yeah, just gotta keep your fluids up and I'll be right. If I can find water in Rosedale, I'll probably stay there tonight. But if there's no water, I'll have to keep going because, yeah, I just don't, simply don't have enough water. windy but I'll try and walk it as much as I can. I want to keep riding as much as I'd like to stay just up the road here at this hotel. It's just simply not enough k's until the next major town which is like 130 k's from here. It was 180 from Bundaburg. Are you from around the area here? I'm originally from from outside of Mackay. Oh yep. Really? Yep. yep. But I've got a place out here near Baffle Creek. Oh yeah sweet. Yep. Probably near about oh, 18 years now, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Opal mining before then. Opal mining? <laughs> oh, wow. How was that? Yeah, right. You went alright with that? I yeah. was out there for about 13 years, bloody sure. case of Opal. Like around Co Coobapedi and stuff, was it? Or? No, I was out at a little place called a Sheep Yard, out from Lightning Ridge. Nice. That kept me at the pub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. You get so sweet. Wind keep blowing, you better put a sail up on your boat. <laughs> <laughs> Make the most of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the cool blue light.
So it's nearing the end of the day and we have a beautiful sunset there behind me. Making my way into this town. We're in country, country Queensland. And I'm loving it. Yeah, I'll update you guys when I get into town with like how far I rode and everything today. So I'll show you guys like camp and all that stuff as well. Merriam Dale. Yeah, we're here. So I'm just gonna quickly go for a ride into the main street which is over there somewhere and then I think I might come back around out here and set up the tent out the back of this um, rugby field. And there we go guys, almost did a bike tour record. We did 115 kilometers today. <laughs> we left way too late too, at like 10.30. Anyway guys, that's it from me. I'm gonna set up the tent and have dinner and stuff. I might uh, go check out the cafe in the morning and say good day to some of the locals there. Wouldn't mind a nice coffee to be honest. But yeah, anyway guys, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thank you guys for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Drop some comments down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want. Subscribe to this channel already. And uh, as always guys, see you in the next one. Bye. We're going to get a constant noise of the freight trains coming through. Apparently it's quite a regular thing around here. Freight trains!